Good morning, YouTube. I'm not one for to-do lists. If you really have to make a to-do list, make three priorities that would be big wins for you to accomplish. Don't give yourself a laundry list. I am, however, one for setting intentions. I'm a big proponent of going to sleep at night with intention already preset for the following day. Take a little notebook, take something to write it down because when you first wake up, you're not going to be thinking, what was it that I intended to do today? How did I intend to spend my time? Intentions are different than to-do lists. To-do lists are filled with busyness, filled with chores, filled with things that you need to tackle. And yes, you can throw a chore or two on. That's why I said not excluding a one to three necessity to-do list. But setting an intention for the day gives you some sort of roadmap that's going to be positive and progressing you forward in your life, your personal development, your health, your happiness, whatever it is that you want more of or whatever it is that you want less of going on in your life. After you do blindly fumble through your morning routine and you're cognizant and conscious before you have to run off to work or run off to life or run off to hit off those to-do lists and be busy or maybe you go directly to your job and you come home in the evening and then you just have this space this space that's often filled with television or other non-productive, non-beneficial, mindless activity. If you want mindless activity, make that your intention. If it's a day off and you need and want and deserve that day off, everybody should have them. Make that part of your intention for the day. I intend to give myself some mindless downtime. I intend to watch that series on Netflix or whatever platform you use. Uh, but going undirected to the day leads you to spend a lot of that time, too much of that time, undirected. You don't know what to fill it with, so you don't fill it with anything that's good for you. Every night before I go to sleep, I write down three to four intentions for the day. How I intend to conduct myself the next day to sort of give structure to that period of time in my own schedule that I have that is free so that I don't just fumble into this blank space and don't address it in a way that is going to make me happy in a way that is going to be fulfilling to me and meaningful to me. So while I'm conscious and getting ready to go to sleep at night, thinking about the following day, how I would like to spend my following day, what would be one or two good things that would make me happy to include in my tomorrow? Projects that I want to do people that I want to see or talk to, personal goals that I'd like to work on, some project that I've been putting off that's been driving me crazy because I know that I've been putting it off and I know I would feel much less stressed if I just took care of it. Do I want to tackle that tomorrow? Will that make me feel good? And set some intentions for your day so you're not just blindly fumbling through. Because oftentimes when we blindly fumble through is we don't like to be bored. We're used to being very chaotic and very busy. We fill up that time with unproductive things. And you want your life to work for you. Setting the intention while you're still clear-headed and dreaming about what a good tomorrow would be. What would make me happy tomorrow? 
writing that down before you go to sleep at night is a good way to wake up. And once you've woken up, whenever it is when you get home from work in the evening, before you go to work in the morning, when you hit that time where it is free and it is available throughout your day, you can look at that intention list and know what it is your truer, deeper consciousness really wanted to get taken care of. So another day doesn't pass with you going to bed at night still feeling incomplete, like you haven't moved forward, like you haven't accomplished anything. It leaves you with a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment to click off intentions versus to-dos. To-dos could be to fix a broken drawer. Intentions could be to watch the sunrise, call your mother, try yoga, watch a biography, learn a new skill, become more, do more, be more of who you want to be. And if you don't plan that into your schedule, it oftentimes won't happen. Intentions are how you pop it in. So try it. Make intentions before you fall asleep tonight and see if you can follow through the next day. Good morning.